Electo Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydra Genium. He can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Micro. Are we all here? Someone's missing. Pharaoh, you came well prepared. Oh boy, we're in for a real adventure, aren't we? Of course, life's an adventure. And now we're going to head to one of the more distant parts of the laboratory, a place called Micro. Hop on. I'll put you in my pocket. You'll be comfortable there. Professor, can I ride on your shoulder? I wouldn't if I were you. It'll be windy. So what? Life's an adventure. Oh, oh boy, that's some wind. Professor! Did you say something, Wolfie? Oh, sorry, Professor, but could you put me in your pocket too? Sure, little one. You'd better sit down. It gets hard to stay on your feet. Hey, everyone. I was out there measuring wind power. How was it? Mm, very windy. Um, 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 nothing but real adventure. Oh, we've stopped. Are we here? Whoa, what are these doors? This one says macro, and this one says micro. What does that mean? Which one do we need? Macro means something big, and micro means something small. We need the door that says micro, because to create a tiny compass, we'll require a microscope. Now look, here we have a very powerful microscope. It's a device that helps us see very tiny things. If you take two magnifying glasses and place them one above the other, then by changing the distance between them, you can enlarge the image underneath multiple times. We call a microscope like that optical, and this one here is electronic. I've attached some helpers to it to serve as my hands. Kids, let's get to work. To make a compass, we'll need a metal needle, which we can magnetize. Any pin or sewing needle will do. To magnetize the needle, simply rub it against some wool or your own hair. The compass is ready. Now, one end of our magnetized needle will point north and the other south. Now, align the needle with the arrows so that one end points north and the other south. OK, kids. Now that each of you has a compass, you'll have a harder time getting lost in our enormous laboratory. But in addition to the compass, you'll also need a map. I suggest you go on an adventure around the entire lab and draw up a detailed layout of all the rooms. Are you ready? Yes, yes, sure, yes, sure, yes sure, 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 sure! We're ready! Follow them and keep a watchful eye. Understood? <laughs> 